Hi. Yep, still here. Well, questions kind of run the gamut. From what is my favorite word to what do I do with my quilts when I finish them? I sell them. Uh, I always have a quilt unveiling uh, open to the public when I finish a quilt. So sometimes somebody just grabs it up right then. Uh, sometimes people see me while I'm working on one and they put in a bid for it. Uh, somebody wanted to know how she could get this one. And, uh, I don't know. It's hard for me to say a figure. You know, if you figured out how much time you put in, you'd be getting something like 10 cents an hour. But I'm not do, I don't do them to sell them. I do them because I want to do them. So in my mind, the selling is kind of incidental. I suppose, that's, I've been thinking of having an auction of, of the quilts that I have in stock, but then, I don't know, there's only about five of them, and I don't, uh, I don't think it's really worth it. I guess, I don't know, just picking a wild figure, if somebody wanted to put in a bid on this one, I think I'd say around $300. I think that's very low and uh, probably wouldn't be interested in selling it for less than that. But if I hang on to it for a few years and I don't want it, then I'll probably let it go for any price. My favorite word. Well, I suppose my favorite word is yes. But I always think of another word, if you don't mind my telling a short story here. I knew a boy. He was about 19. I was 40, 39, something like that. Um, we were very good friends. And he was, he was one of the, the hippies, right, that lived downstairs. We did a lot of things together. I was playing a concert uh, at the War Memorial uh, Veterans Building down at, in Civic Center. And uh, it was in the auditorium upstairs. So the musicians, it was, I was with a group, and the musicians were all up there. We were, you know, getting ready to the concert. It was just about 15 minutes before the concert. And somebody came up to me and said, you'd better come downstairs. Uh, there's somebody picketing on, on Van Ness Avenue. There's somebody picketing and uh, he says that it's your performance, actually, that he's picketing. So I went downstairs, and there was David, David Winston, who since has become one of the world's leading forte piano restorers and builders. There he was in his giant overcoat and his waist-length hair, carrying a handmade picket sign that only had one word on it. Moist. <laughs> Whatever. So I always think of that anyway when, when I think of what word. I would say is my favorite. I guess that one. It's such a, an evocative word and it, it doesn't really have any negative connotations. You can take it where you will.
thanks to Mrs. Madness for uh, provoking that story. And Marie, Marie's talking about her Aunt Joan that made quilts. And sometimes people would uh, come in, including Marie's uncles, and feel like taking a few stitches on the quilt while it was being worked on. And her aunt always was very uh, uh, willing to let them do that. And then she says, and she never took out a stitch. And I'm the same way. If somebody's here and wants to sew on it a little bit, um, even my daughters, they're not quilters. I mean, they don't do a lot of quilting, and so their stitches aren't going to look like mine. But I never take out a stitch. I think um, it's wonderful having somebody else's stitches on my quilt. If you live in the neighborhood, hey, let's do this. If you live in the neighborhood and want to stop in and sew on it a little bit, it, we can do vi a video. That's going to another level. Turbolo has asked if I'm using a frame. Yes, I always use a frame, but uh, there's two different types of frame I use. This is a three-pole frame. The advantage of this frame is that you do not have to baste. So it is wound on these three holes. I'm just at a point now where I've quilted up this far. I can't go farther. You'll see why. And now I'm going to wind. So the whole process of the quilting is one of um, unwinding the unquilted part. This top pole, the, the top piece and the batting are wound onto this pole. And the back is wound onto this pole. They're both attached to the front pole. Okay, so I'm going to wind this up. See, those are turning. I've loosened the attachments. I'm going to wind up till I get to about where I've quilted. I'm going to tighten that. I'm going to wind this to tighten it because I want it to be nice and tight. And I'll tighten that. And then I'll um, tighten my back piece. There's Mr. Green. I'm getting there. <laughs> uh, I think, as I recall, uh, that's about halfway, begins about halfway up the quilt. So I think maybe I'm approaching the halfway mark with my quilting.